Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good Saturday evening, everyone. I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Brandon Woolley, and it's getting loud out there for early this evening because we have some thunderstorms to talk about. Right now in our live sweep from Double Doppler 2, you can see this line of showers and storms uh, just stretching there just to the northwest of Sand Springs down towards the southeast at this point. And this shower is moving actually towards the west at this time. Usually you have showers and storms moving towards the east, but this one is actually moving to the west. So Sepulpa, watch out over the next couple of minutes. You have a brief heavy downpour headed your direction. You can see on Storm Shield radar over the past three hours. So we had some showers and storms early this morning and then renewed chances out there for early this evening. And again, all of this activity is moving towards the west at this time and still shower chances in our forecast over the next couple of days, especially later in the afternoon and early in the evening. Now from the National Weather Service through seven o'clock tonight. So just a couple of more minutes. We do have this heat advisory for some of those heat indices above 100 degrees, but some of these showers and storms definitely helping out tonight in terms of lowering down the temperature. It looks nasty out there from BOK of some of those showers and storms as we showed you on double Doppler too. So widely scattered showers and some isolated thunderstorms over the next couple of hours. Things should start to really die out after sunset and it looks pretty quiet for overnight tonight down to now 88 degrees. The relative humidity at 63%. 74 degrees on the dew point and some of those current temperatures in some cases down into the 80s, but Venita at 92 degrees about the same in Bartlesville 83 for our viewers in Eufaula and you combine the relative humidity. So this is what it actually feels like to our bodies out there. 102 in Bartlesville, the same for our viewers in Coffeeville and 103 in prior at the six o'clock hour here. Now the official daytime high today was 95 degrees and that mild overnight low of 78 degrees. The average high for this time of year is lower at 88 degrees on the latest series of satellite pictures with the radar. Now, late last night, we had that a big storm complex that formed over northwestern Kansas that dove south for early this morning across green country. You can see it right there. They gave us some showers and storms, and then we have those showers and storms right now over eastern Oklahoma. It should quiet down again over the next couple of hours, but timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation for tomorrow on your Sunday, especially by the afternoon, partly cloudy skies and a slight chance for showers and some isolated thunderstorms. It's going to go quiet once again overnight tomorrow night through very early on Monday, but then partly cloudy skies again and the chance for showers and some of those isolated thunderstorms to begin the first day of summer. That's coming up for Monday. Cooler out there tonight because of some of those rain showers down into the 60s to the lower 70s. Sky took at 71 degrees. Easterly winds between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. Now over the next couple of hours, a chance for those showers and thunderstorms again moving towards the west and then we are expecting dry conditions overnight tonight. Henrietta down to 71 degrees easterly winds all light less than 10 miles per hour, but some gusty conditions around the showers and storms over the next couple of hours. Bartlesville 93 degrees, partly cloudy sky, southeasterly winds between about 5 and 10, a slight chance for showers and some isolated thunderstorms by tomorrow afternoon in throughout far eastern Oklahoma. As we saw in the model run, southeasterly winds between about 5 and 10 with a mixture of clouds and sunshine for your Father's Day. Here's a look at your latest seven day forecast. The first day of summer on Monday, 94 degrees, 95 on Tuesday, mostly sunny, and then another chance for showers and some isolated thunderstorms storm Stephen for Friday and Saturday, but notice some of those highs, especially for Wednesday and Thursday, approaching 100 all over again. And the rain out of nowhere seemed to keep us on our toes today. We've got to pay attention out there, but at least it's cooling down those temperatures. Absolutely. Yes. Brandon, thanks. Right. Now it's time for sports.